for me, the valuable thing about traveling outside the classroom to go and learn about history is really about, basically, it takes the words on the page and makes them real. So it's, I mean, to Antietam, this past weekend was supposed to be the Antietam illumination ceremony, and it snowed, unfortunately, but um, they, um, when you go there, you see the battlefields after reading about it for a couple of days, and when you have words on the page, you can learn that 23,000 people died, but you don't really understand what that means. And then when you go to Antietam, where they have this illumination ceremony and they put a candle down for every single person that died on the actual battlefield, you, it actually becomes very real and very tangible, and you're able to actually recognize, oh, 23,000 people is a lot of people. And it's the great thing about place-based learning is that you are actually seeing things instead of just reading things. And I think that makes a very different connection for people. And it also helps students, I know for me, it helped me remember things longer and, long, and make a bigger impact on me long past uh, just reading a textbook. It got you outside of the classroom, and that's really you know, more what I remember, is being outside the classroom. And I think the coolest thing for me, um, just trying to learn the information, was experiencing it where you talked about, um, I guess, the prep work beforehand. Um, you can learn, I guess, about it, read about it, but when you go there, you pick up on things that you read, and you bring that to the place that you're visiting. So once they say those key words, it kind of hits you, and then it's, I guess, going back and reinstilling, I guess, what you're trying to learn. Um, and I guess, for me, what works is, you know, repeating that information in a different way. So you don't just read it, but then you experience it, and then you remember it, and it adds meaning. So, um, at the Arlington House, there's, lot, there's a little pane of glass that's right off the front of the house to the left, and it has a signature inscribed. It says, R.E. Lee, June 17, 1859. Um, people will visit the Arlington House, and they'll say, oh, well, this is nice. Like, it's a big, empty house. We're in the middle of a restoration. And, you know, they know that Robert E. Lee lived there for 30 years prior to the Civil War. They can get that idea of it. But then you show them this pane of glass. And I usually I take people over to it and I ask them just to look at the pane of glass and, you know, if they notice anything, what is it? And they go over to the pane of glass and they look at it and they stare at it. And you just see this totally just new expression on their face. And they say, oh, that says Robert E. Lee, like June 17th, 1859. And the signature in the glass, it really connects them because they can walk on the same floorboards that Robert Lee walked on, but seeing his, a signature that may have been his, but it's actually his son's, um, seeing a signature in the glass like that really makes it real for them.